Well, I think that a space that enables flexibility. So often when we run workshops in CPD, um, we tend to just go into classroom spaces and strip everything out, um, at the furniture and you know, make sure we move around the space a lot more. And actually we did a project with um, schools in Essex, which was titled Blue Sky Classrooms. And that was all about um, not just having one space, which is for creative learning, but having a classroom that was really flexible so what we did was we worked to the same budget as um, as like a standard renovation for a classroom. I think it was less than ten thousand pounds for all the furniture and kit, and we basically made there was three three fronts to the classroom. There was windows on one wall, um, this is our test classroom, and the furniture was all really foldable, and um, the young people can carry and like stack the chairs away for example the tables were movable they could be set in multiple positions and so we trialed that with this one school and then they rolled that out across the school and actually in other schools as well partner schools so that it meant that every space when they the teacher took the kids into the class and then they just said this is what we're doing today as part of our session and the young people actually decided how to set up the space so it's worked really well and I think that you know, the more schools that could take on that initiative rather than just have like a super interactive classroom. But actually it was really simple. Um, we had uh, a whiteboard paint on the walls, so like we could just, the kids could just draw and think on the walls. There was um, projectors that could go multiple ways, so there was no front to the class. There was no teacher's desk, which was quite controversial. Um, but yeah, it worked really well.